Here's a quick little video. I'm going to show you how to remove a hard drive from a Dell here and test it using Nopix, which I like to use to view files on a machine that Windows can't recognize. Now, Dells usually have on the side where the hard drives pull out. You can pull out the two screws, and or sometimes four, and the hard drive comes out of the side. It's one of the newer Dell and Spron models. I'm going to put that aside. And we're going to take the hard drive. Now, these hard drives usually come in some kind of case. It's called a tray, hard drive tray in most cases. There's four thick little screws holding it in on the edge, sometimes two. The tray comes out, and now we have just the hard drive. Now I'm going to pull over a device here I like to call the toaster. Just because you put the drives in like a toaster. And what this is is basically a SATA to USB converter. You could also buy cables that do the same thing. And the hard drive gets pushed in right like a toaster. There's an on-off switch. Switch it on. Then you can plug the USB cable here into a computer. You can plug it into a Windows machine, any machine, but I'm going to plug it into a Nopix machine just to show you what the file system looks like. This is a USB to SATA or USB to IDE cable. So if you don't have, the toaster only works for SATA mainly, but you could use the IDE cable. Now, I'm switched over real quick to a computer that's booting up Nopix. This is your Nopix boot screen. It's running Nopix version 5.1. Bootable CD. You don't have to install anything on your hard drive. And that was a real sped up version of the boot process. Now we just plug the USB port of the toaster into this machine and we get a pop-up window similar to Windows. Just going to cancel that out. Now we see the hard drive appeared in the left hand side. Click it once. You don't have to double click on Nopix. Click it once. Let's try that again. And you will see the file structure there of this drive. Now, if you've tried this drive in Windows and it did not boot or did not load, Try it in Nopix and you might be able to access the files. I've saved many files this way. It's a great tool for data recovery and it allows you to do it easily just in a Windows type environment. So that's just a quick little demo of Nopix.